Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I did some scouting for this one here as I was a little bit mystified by that and guess where it is? On... ow. On this path there's a nut. See that nut? That is a nut. We've got to get that nut somehow. Some way, but I don't remember how. <laughs> it probably just requires some fancy schmancy wall kicking jumpies. He something like that. Yeah, something like that. That'll that'll do. <laughs> I just take took a look and I was like, oh yeah, it was that nut. And sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you're a moon. Tucked away in the tunnel. And I guess we go ahead and take a look at this spot over here. Remember this over here? Yeah, we're kind of in the area, and I think it is uproot centric. I wonder what I forget what that slingshot leads to. I'll check that out in a minute. I think if there's like a yeah, a little pathway up through here now that has something. Uh, and there it is. We're gonna be getting Moon's Rapid Fire this time, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so let's see where this leads to. Okay, just there. Not really super mega special, I guess you could say. Uh, I guess I'll see what the thing by the Odyssey is. This might be the Dirt Block one, I think? You're supposed to shoot at it from a distance with a Sherm. I, I think it's this right here. See this? Uh, yeah, I think that's the one. So what you want to do is... Uh, yeah, I think that's the closest one. That got. I don't think I'll end up below the area if I warp there. Is you want to grab a Sherm and shoot at that block from a distance. Oh shoot, that's not actually well. Uh, well, no, 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 it's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I just go up this way. Don't panic, all is well. It was just me that was panicking. <laughs> Alright, so grab you. And now I gotta aim for that block. Or maybe we could just take it down there. I don't know, it'd probably, probably be faster just aim for the block from a distance. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Sherms, they don't move too quick. Does it just... Aww. I actually do have to take it down there. Do, 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 do. It's gonna take a while though. <laughs> Cause yeah, his, the shots from the Sherm take a little too long to reach that spot. Are you scared of me, little bunny? Oh, you are. Of course you are. I'm a big old tank. Anyway, I think this is close enough now. Oh geez, that's terrible shooting. Hey, oh, 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 wait, 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 we got it. Yeah! Yeah! And oh, perfect shot <laughs> with my body inside a rock in the forests. And I, I, I guess I'll go over here and check this out again. Shall I? Shall I? Probably see if I can pinpoint the location of the. Don't, you can fly. What are you scared of? <laughs> Um, no, I'm like right on it. Wait, I didn't forget something in the foggy area, did I? Oops, that was... <laughs> I forgot there was a little blocker there. Oh, actually two there, but anyway. It's this one I get... Is it really? Hmm, I guess I'll take a look-see around again? I remember this place, but there's a- Ah, oh, there is something! Thank you, Cappy, for the reminder. <laughs> okay, so what am I looking for here, then? Is there some indicators of a coin here? No! <laughs> I thought the coins may be pointing something up, but no, I'm at, like, the lowest level already. Well, besides the, the spot underneath here where I got that uh, last moon shard, Okay, we're gonna go around, we're gonna look for stuff. That's how things are gonna go. In fact, I'm gonna even go over and around the edges just in case right away, like around places and whatnot, because I know there's stuff hidden. 
and uh, oh, 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 not hidden in the fog. I was yeah, I was gonna say because I know there's stuff hidden underneath the world, but as for the stuff that's above the world, I'm pretty sure I cleared out pretty well. But yeah, the other thing that I was uh, that I got before was under there or somewhere. But anyway. He can now leave here, preferably with some sort of safety precautions. <laughs> and now that place is complete, I think. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> uh, observation deck. Oh, yeah, I still got that one to figure out. And then there was those two in there that I was told about earlier, but. First there, I suppose. Because apparently I'm not done here. Hello, once again. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Um This is like directly I don't know. It could be like on the tippy top of that slide area or something. Wait, 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 what what is that? Is it Okay, it's directly below here. And no, that's got to be pretty deep then, because <laughs> that's like in the middle of all the girders and stuff like that. And that is not the 8-bit area like I thought it was before. I mean, like I thought it was before. It's not that. Could be that. Like, did I miss something up in that crevice over there when I rocket flowered up there before? That certainly seems plausible, because maybe I was focused on these, and I didn't go up here? Is... maybe? I don't know, let's see what heck Cappy has to say. Uh, uh, I thought, guess I wasn't in all the way. Alright, remember this place? Yes. Okay, so there is. Okay. So... Where was it then? Because I, I thought it was pretty thorough when I was shooting around here with Sherm before, but... Uh, not... not that. It was that? I thought I shot something up there before. Well, I guess I didn't! <laughs> Elevator blind spot! I don't even have to go through the whole thing all over again, I could just... Go poop over here. That is fantastic. And I think, besides the hint art over here, we're done. So I guess I can go and head over to the deep dark woods. For I was told that there are two moons that I missed here. And thinking about it, I was like, how the poop? Did I forget about these? <laughs> the first one I need is a coin coffer. For so, and that, that was perfect grammar there. So, I thought there was like a coin coffer around somewhere this particular area. Yeah, well, anyway, it's not this, it's a bunch of Goombas over here, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but yeah, coin coffer, kind of a invisible guy. Well, let, let's see what I find first because I think I'm coming to the area that I need to actually go to anyway that's near the edge of the bottomless pit because there's a rock I need to kick around here and yeah I still don't see coin coffer and wait I think this was the rock actually yes yes don't interrupt me not right now not right now <laughs> I'm just I'm just fearless with the type of T-Rex of doom just move over there if you like you can have a good time oh! Don't, don't fall off the edge. Be careful there, man. <laughs> okay, well, that, that works too, I guess. And I'll just keep kicking that around. And there we go. Rolling rock in the deep woods. But I still need to roll over to a coin coffer somewhere around here. So let's just keep on looking for one. Oh! oh, oh! I've located it by this seed dispenser over here and that is next to this over here I'm not gonna leave my coin coffer now I, I may never find it again 
<laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna go and look for the river. There we go. Okay. I was gonna say, once I find the river, I can just follow it down to the location. And now... We spew! Just hold the button. Watch your coin count as well. Just to see how many coins it'll actually... Oops, I didn't mean to... It twitched. <laughs> well, I just lost like 20 coins there, but... Anyway, just keep spewing. Keep spewing. This this one doesn't require water, it requires coins! Lots and lots of coins for victory! Yeah! Now you can't like shake, because if you shake, you just go in a circle. Yeah. So anyway, let's just keep spewing, just keep holding the button. We're gonna fire away until we get a moon out of this. <laughs> it may take 30 years, but we're gonna get it. Come on, you're all big and strong. <laughs> By the way, once this finally uh, pops out, eventually, uh, let's see if I can flip the camera around and see how high it's growing, like, kind of... Uh, well, that's, okay, can I get it from, like, okay, there we go. Just kind of like keep feeding it from this distance. I can keep showing you its growth. <laughs> it's it's a lot. It, it may hurt your pocketbook, but it's worth it for 100% completion, I think. <laughs> Come on! Keep feeding the coin gods. <laughs> I'm glad I've collected so many coins throughout the game. Oh, 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 we got a seed! We've got a seed! <laughs> yeah, it's coming up to around 500 or so. Come on, baby, there it is! Yeah, somewhere around 500 there. So now we pop out of a coin coffer, use the tree, yeah! I say, we use the tree, and... Grab the treasure made from coins. Yes! Happy days! And now I need a vine to get out of here. <laughs> Hopefully this will be one that's nearby to the Odyssey type area so I can re-show you the hint art before we travel over to the Sand Kingdom just for the sake of showing you the showing you things. Uh, eh, I guess I can warp there anyway. <laughs> So, starting from the Odyssey, we're going to go back over to the Hidden Art, Hint Art, as I just said, and go plop on over, just to give you a reminder of what the poop is this Hint Art all about. And it has to do with a certain traveling Koopa that wasn't there before when we came to the kingdom before. See that? Basically, you look for that, the champion walker, and then you keep moving north until you find two tightly packed bushes and then ground pound in front of them. Now, what I mean by moving north, I mean you move quite far north. It's, it's like, I think it's all the way to the very, why did I throw my hat on that? It's like on the all the way on the other side of the map, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, we got... Yay, new stuff added to the shop. But, I mean, we've got quite a trek to go to find those two bushes at the Sand Kingdom. So... Oh, and speaking of the Sand Kingdom, just a little uh, reminder about the cab guy here. If you want to start it now, you can. Because cab guy goes from here over to I think the Metro Kingdom and then back over to the Cascade Kingdom that's why I didn't want to do the cab guy right there in front of town just yet because it, it, it's going to a kingdom that I'm not that I haven't gone to for 100% completion just yet and you know organization and all like that so yeah let's just go ahead and start over with our trek by the Koopa so wasn't Koopa like Koopa? <laughs> that Koopa was near town. How am I tr having trouble finding this Koopa again? You're able to replay this Koopa, this Koopa's game infinitely for its... Okay, there you go. It was, I guess it was pretty far from town. But yeah, you're able to replay this infinitely to uh, get the high score if you'd like to. But yeah, as you see here, 
I think you got to travel like all the way up through there somewhere. So you know what? Let's just let's just do this and start instead of by the Koopa and like start behind the pyramid instead, just for the sake of saving ourselves a little walking distance here. So yeah, I'm gonna go and oh shoot! Why do I I'm, I keep throwing my hat when I. I want to do a long jump across that, but I totally mistimed that. But yeah, I keep throwing my hat like that every time I just want to do a simple move like so. <laughs> Alright, so we're... Oh, I think this is it, right here. And... Yeah, I think these are the bushes. See, these split the... Well, not split the distance. They're directly north from that Koopa somewhere along there, I think. Bingo! <laughs> I was correct. Found with Wooded Kingdom Arts. Alright! And now I guess we can go ahead over to the Lake Kingdom and clear out a couple moons there. Because uh, I did some cuts there, so I'm pretty sure I need a couple more minutes here to fill out about 20. <laughs> 570. And... Go! Yes, we should go to another kingdom. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Woohoo! So the moon rock is immediately off to the right and up on that mountainside. Well, not immediately off to the right. You gotta go in the water a little bit and then make a turn to the right. See where that flower is and Luigi over there? Yeah, it's, I do believe, up there. So that's what we're gonna do to start unlocking moons. Well, we kind of have to because, you know, you know, they, they don't appear until you whack the moon rock around a little bit, so... Anyway, how's it going? We got so many visitors right now, whoa! Uh, yep, Koopa free running. I should probably do that. That is obviously not a moon rock block. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is! Quite a beautiful kingdom indeed. But yeah, I guess I'll... Uh, Anyway, yeah, you don't have to do anything to unlock the Koopa free running. It just happens post game. You don't have to hit the moon block or anything like that. It's just there, waiting for you. And Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. unleash collectibles. Thousands more collectibles! Well, not that many more collectibles. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. No ice in the Lake Kingdom. Perhaps you're a little overdressed yourself then. <laughs> Just like... Guy at the Sand Kingdom. So, well, I guess I could plop down this and... Koopa free run in a minute. Wouldn't hurt, I suppose. It's kind of... <gasps> oh no! This one! This is like one of the hardest ones in the game. <laughs> Although I thought about that with that one with that you run along the side of the cone. But uh with, so basically you've got this frog and you've got these instant death poison waves here and you got to jump over them. That's not very difficult at first, but oh, oh, this gets a whole lot more difficult because the waves are uh, a little bit tighter than they look at certain locations because l see, see, look at the distance between is we're going to the right over there. We're gonna be going against, I mean, excuse me, with the traffic flow of the poison as opposed to against the traffic flow of the poison now. So now we go over here. You kind of want to hurry up. I mean, really hurry up. Because it's coming. Oh, jeez! Okay. <laughs> Waves of poison hopping over. So that one's done. But there's an even harder one here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, it's coming. Oh boy. You can take one hit from the poison because it'll automatically poop you out of the frog, but it's, you're probably not going to survive much longer out of the frog. I can't believe I did it. <laughs> it's just like the, the one on the side of the sinking cone in the Sand Kingdom. That... I can't... 
How the poop? Every time I say it is a hard one, I get it with relative ease. <laughs> I shouldn't complain, but really, that one... I had fits with that one my first try at that. Maybe that took me so long to do it my first try because I was having fits with it. I was losing composure. <laughs> On the lakeshore. Yeah, it's just a glowing dealio just right over there now. And... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Guess I should do Koopa Free Running. I don't think there... Oh, there was another X over... Oh! Oh! How did I just overlook you? You kind of, you kind of are a thing. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe I, uh, yeah, maybe I should do that stuff in the next part because I got to do two Koopa free running, and it'll be tricky to get Goombas over here. So, yeah. With that, I'll end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do Koopa free running and bring lovers together. I suppose. <laughs>